With only the champions being promoted from National League 1 this season, every game's a cup final now for the three teams that are still in the running, Gala, Harriots and Bigger. And Gala kept themselves right where they need to be with a bonus point victory against the Highland side who, on their day, can be a banana skin for anyone. On a fine spring day at Netherdale, it was Gala who were first on the board after an error strew in 15 minutes. Ben Gill, the beneficiary of a fine outside break with John Turnbull of first phase ball. Craig Dodds with the extras. Highland Scott Fraser was shown a yellow for a ruck infringement and from the resulting line-out, the evergreen Ewan Dodds emerged with the ball from a pile of bodies. Dodds again turning five into seven. Then three minutes later, Fergus Johnson crossed for Gala's third try after great interplay between Turnbull and Angus Dunn. But in 20 minutes, the otherwise outstanding Dunn was shown a yellow for a high shot that the Gala faithful believed to be dubious. And that was the end of the first half action. 19-0 to Gala at the break. The bonus point score was brought up four minutes into the second half. Jack Eason with a trademark score after another driving maul. Highland then wiped the zero off with a try by Adrew and Muritoki after a good pass by Wakanibau Jr. Scott Fraser converted that one. Jack Eason was the next player of 10 in the cooler when he pulled down a maul, but Gala rode that period out and Tim McAvena crossed after a mix-up in the Highland midfield, Dodds converting to take it to 31-7. And on the stroke of full time, that man Dunn capped off a fine individual display with his second try, Dodds again converting. So, a huge game awaits next weekend at Hartree Mill against fellow title contenders Bigger, but Gala will head up there in fine fettle having achieved what they set out to achieve today. Five points here in the bag at Netherdale. It's Gala 38, Highland 7. Yeah, pretty pleased. Um, you know, that's three, three games to go now, so just take every game as it comes. Uh, know, the, know the most pretty of wins. You know, we were uh, under the course a few times, but I think we've done really well. We just need to keep playing our shape and our structure, bringing that into it, and the league's ours to lose. And we cast our mind back a few weeks here, bigger, 28-0 mm -hmm. down after 30 minutes. However, you somehow managed to get two points from that game, mm -hmm. then three bonus point wins on the spin. Yeah. There's a bit of character in the squad. Oh, for sure. For sure. Look, that game against bigger, um, that first half an hour, that wasn't us. And then that second half when we came back into it, that's everything we're about, character and, and determination. And, and I think the fact that we came into that and we made it a contest and we very nearly won it, I think that just stands testament to our intentions and our ability. Yeah. So I'm, I'm totally confident that we can go out there and, and do the job these next three games and we're looking forward to it. Yeah. And obviously massive game next week, bigger away, Har Hartree Mill. What are the main work-ons this week, would you say, in anticipation of that? Um, certainly discipline. We need to keep our discipline down, uh, absolutely, and just make sure that we're, um, we're playing that shape, playing that structure, giving ourselves depth and, and that margin for error that sometimes we're, we're guilty of um, giving away sometimes. So, you know, just, just working on it the same. Keep on going, keep on rolling.